Ladies and gentlemen, transport enthusiasts, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. I'm the conductor for this journey. And speaking of this journey, we are looking at... Uh, it's not the capital of the world. It's not the capital of the map anymore, because, of course, it was superseded by the uh, the coastal... The coastal megapolis that is uh, that is Gravesend at the other end of the map. But this is Burnley. Uh, it's been a while since we've actually sort of properly focused on Burnley for uh, for anything. And uh, today, I'm very, very much hoping that we can remedy uh, that situation and perhaps just uh, just about give Burnley the respect uh, that it deserves. Right. So there's a couple of things that I want to do today all along the course of this line. First and foremost, I want to take better advantage of uh, of this of this of this oil well here i actually think that we can do a heck of a lot a heck of a lot better we've currently got four trains transporting oil all the way up to the oil refinery over here i think i think well firstly we can at least double maybe even triple quadruple the length of these uh, of these platforms we can make them into into absolute massive 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 beasts uh, and we can sort of shrink the number of trains down on the specific route, which is the the fueling Cotsgrave route. Because at the moment we're not really we're not really drawing down on all of our uh, on all of our oil reserves. But the trains the trains that go along the line are uh, are ridiculously slow. They take ages to get anywhere, and they don't even carry that much cargo anymore. So yeah. We'll, we'll try and we'll try and get that fixed up today. I also want to introduce a properly high-speed service from uh, from Burnley all the way to Cleobury Mortimer, and then ideally, ideally, I I also want to link up the uh, the high-speed service to uh, to Cotsgrave as well, so that we can incorporate a fully fully sort of cross-map high-speed service from Burnley all the way over to Gravesend via of course the uh, the lovely station town of Cotsgrave as uh, as it will as it will henceforth be known. Okay, so in the first instance I think we should try and muck around with this and see if we can try and get this sorted. Now, if I go into configuration, uh, yeah, this secondary platform doesn't actually make any difference whatsoever, but getting additional cargo platforms up here is grand. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, so how long is how long is that? I don't even know how long how long a, a platform that is. Yeah, ditch all of that. Ditch that as well. And that will t in total give us it doesn't need to be high speed. It doesn't even need to have electrified track as none of the other none of the trains that are actually able to operate on this track have uh have electrified, have electrified track. Yeah, how long, how long is this? I don't even, I don't even know. I mean, the standard one is, which is two, is 80. Four is 160. 240, I guess? 200, 240? It's, it's one of the, in fact, we can compare. Compare, yeah, compare that. It should be the same length. It should be the same length as this. Yeah, it's the same length. Okay, so that's a 240 meter long train. I kind of want to go the whole way and add on another two another two bits. But I don't have the space over here. But I kind of do want to commit to this idea. Let's um let's demolish this. Get this done. I know it's going to mess around with the the oil and whatnot, but um but let's let's give it a shot. Cargo station, terminal cargo station, 320 meters long. High speed, sure. You know what? Let's just What's the price difference? It's about a hundred grand. Ugh, you know, let's uh, let's not make it high speed. It's cargo anyway, so it's not going to make that much of a difference. Stick that down there. Brilliant. And I do believe that we should be able to just link this up. In fact, we don't even need to. We can just go into configuration, uh, miscellaneous, and I think we should be able to stick a side entrance down here if we put down a platform. Uh, or no, it's not actually a side entrance that we need. It's that. That's what we need. Perfect. So if we do that, that should link it up. And now we should be able to fuel Cotsgrave from this station right here. Um, yeah, getting a second getting a second platform was something that I considered for this area. But it's not actually going to be required. Because we just don't have that much of a... We just don't have that much traffic. And even with the changes that I'm going to bring in, the traffic that we're going to have... It just ain't that much. Just is not that much. Uh, let's get a signal down in here. Let's make sure that it's not a one-way signal, and uh, and it can take effect 
for both directions, so we'll stick it right there. Perfect. So this is far and away the longest platform that I think I've ever constructed. Yeah. Auto save. Yeah, thank you very much, video game. Sure. No, it's not going to work. Okay, well, you know what? Fine. I just want to make sure that it's linked up. There's no real necessity to have that to, that way, but that's okay. Right, fuel in Cotsgrave. We got we actually got five trains on this line, and they're all they're all aging, they're all old. I mean, let me have a little look at them, eh? Wow. Okay, that is that is more rust than train right there. That is that is a hundred percent rust and zero percent train. Fine, 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 fine. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these I'm gonna leave these guys on here. I'm gonna leave these guys on here until we can get rid of them, because if I was to tell this train right now to go to a depot... Apparently that would totally work. Okay, brilliant. Let's, uh, let's do that. So, where is it? Uh, fueling Cotsgrave. Yep. Four remaining trains. Send them all to the depot. Train five. You cannot find your way to a depot. You are the only one left. That's fine. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. You can just... You can just be sold. You can just be sold, because I, I frankly don't care. Uh, to be honest, I also should just get rid of the... I should just get rid of the rest of these trains. I'm not really going to use them for anything. I'm going to get a brand new bespoke bespoke train, and it's going to be the largest train that we, that we have. Uh, are you already at the depot? Well, that was... mightily quick. Just get them sold off. Yep. Um, yeah, where's the other Where's the other depot that the train would be going to? This one, presumably? Yeah. Right. Get those sold off. I don't even know why I kept them in the first place. Just get them all, just get them all sold. And then let's start afresh. Start afresh with a brand new monster, monster, monster train. Okay. So we could get electric, but uh, our, our, our track isn't actually capable of, of towing electric at the moment. So I think it's probably better that we stick to, we stick to steam. Right, China Railways JF1. I, I kind of like the idea of having two of these, two of these in a specific, in a specific train. Uh, 80 kilometers per hour. Yeah, cool. So let's move, move this all the way down here. You know, ditch that and then we'll add it on at the end. Right, so we want literally, literally a 300 and, what's the length? Is it 320 kilometers? Not 20 kilometers. Uh, 320, 320 meters. Wow, that's 320 meters exactly. 21 million to buy that train. It's going to cost me a pretty penny. But I think it's I think it's what we are after. Uh, let me just let me just check. I want to make absolutely certain. Yeah, it's 320 meters. Cool. Did it get rid of it? Oh, that's irritating. All right. Well, no matter. I know I know what we're after. Yep. As many of these as we can fit in. Uh, ditch one. And give me another China Railways. Fantastic. Take out a ridiculously large loan in order to cover the cost of one of these trains. The good news is, is that the station will be able to support, will be able to support all of the cargo, which is fantastic. Fueling Cotsgrave, there we go. Okay, let's see this absolute monster emerge from the depot. Now, I've kind of chosen a train which I hope will be powerful enough to uh, to deal with the, 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 you know, the truly ridiculous amount of cargo that I want to stick onto this train. However, it might transpire that two, two locomotives just ain't enough. I mean, we'll see in a little bit, won't we? We'll see in a little bit. Let's, uh, let's crack it into three times speed. Date speed is on half at the moment, so that's fine. Yeah, 80 kilometers is the is the max speed for these for these wagons anyway. So we're not going to be going above 80 kilometers per hour. But to be honest, that's that is a remarkable improvement on our on our previous train. Look at that. That is wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely delightful. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something really cheeky. And I'm going to get you to go back into the platform over here. Just because I don't want you traveling right the way down to the other end of the line. Yeah, perfect. Right, I mean, this is only half the battle. This is only half the battle. There's still some major changes to the network that we have to that we have to change. I just want to see if this is actually working. It looks good. It looks really, really good, in fact. Okay, I'm going to keep the 13 million that I've since built up in my bank account. And then we will take all of this track up. Yeah. As long as it doesn't interfere with the high speed, uh, high speed zone, I'm kind of okay with it. Let's get this all configured. So we basically... So that's 160 meters, right? So that's four, five, six, seven. Is that, is that how long it is? I, I don't actually, I, I never know. I think maybe it's one more, one more span of track. Yeah, it's one more span of track. One more span of track and we're golden. To be honest, it doesn't actually need to be or is it one more span of track? Can I even increase the length any further? Well, maybe not. I thought it was one more, but apparently I'm mistaken. It looks like it's definitely one bit of track longer. Huh. Alright, uh, let's try building some cargo platforms out here, shall we? There we go. Uh, still no, still no ability to build further. Okay, uh, that's fine. Again, this, this, uh, this track doesn't really need to be doubled. I'm gonna just take it all back. I'm gonna take it all up because there's absolutely no reason to, to get a secondary, a secondary bit of track. Now we are gonna have a slight problem in the fact that we're probably gonna have to create a brand new route. We're gonna have to create a brand new route to take the fuel from the fuel refinery into Cotsgrave because we cannot extend the station. We cannot extend the station to 300 and whatever meters long. That's just not possible unless we demolish half the town. I'm not really sure that I'm ready to do that quite yet. Although, I mean, I do like the idea of, uh, of demolishing some buildings, but not, not quite yet. Okay. That's about as far as we can take it. That's totally fine. Let's go and get some tracks into here. Brilliant. No electrification, thanks. How did that not connect? Absolutely wanted it to. Hmm. Very funny. All right, that looks good. That looks grand. Uh, have we got directionality on this already? Whoops, yeah, we do. Fine. Uh, so I mean that should that should that should just work really. Yeah, that should absolutely just work, just work completely as intended. The next section of station that we're going to need to change out is this bit over here. And now this station I am going to specifically keep doubled. Although one of the stations I want to be quite long. And the other one, I think I can just get away with uh, leaving it at a, as an 80, an 80 meter long. There we go. So that's the longest we can make it. And... That goes there. That goes there. Brilliant. Okay, I think, I think that's, I think that's all of the changes that we really need to make. Take this back, just a smidgen. Uh, fuel and cots great, by the way. I want to change, so we use platform. What is this called? Cotsgrave East. I want to use platform one and Cotsgrave East. Yep. Cool. Let's get this linked up here. And just like so. 
Brilliant. Okay, so as long as we can have a successful crossover section here, we should be absolutely fine. We can indeed. That's wonderful. It looks good. Seems to work just as intended. Let's get the signals on the go. There we go. All right. Uh, town authorities complain about the following interrupted street connection. Yeah, there's not much I can really do about that. Although, there is one really, really, really easy fix that I can make. And it's that. Town authorities, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so that leaves us with, uh, with the, slight, the slight problem of finding another... Finding another train to stick on the Cotsgrave to Cotsgrave, or Cotsgrave East to Cotsgrave route. I don't think it should be too difficult, but uh, we can probably start at this depot over here. And you know what? We'll just we'll just get the 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 lowest emotion, the lowest emotion, the lowest emo the lowest emission motor engine that we possibly can. Russian class PV. Do I have anything better than Russian class PV? Ten wheeler. Ten wheeler is not bad. Seventy four. 10 wheeler is pretty cheap to be honest. That's 72. That does cost 4 million though. Uh yeah, let me get the 10 wheeler. You know, I'm I'm all for lowering emissions, but not for 4 million dollars. How much is the 10 wheeler going to set me back? Only 2 million. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, fine. Let's go and get the uh the best wagons that we possibly can. That was so stupid. Sell that vehicle. There we go. And give me, yeah, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a length of eighty, so it's not actually going to be that much uh, in terms of capacity. But it doesn't really need to be. This just needs to be a really, really cheap route, a really, really easy to to manage route. Cotsgrave East down to Cotsgrave, brilliant. And I would like it to be, yeah, I would like it to be. I'd like it to look just like that. Now. Why will you not work? You do not want to work on account of the fact that this route back doesn't link up to here. I've cracked it. I've cracked it. I know I know what the issue is here. Okay. This is uh this is gonna be called actually fueling Cotsgrave. Right. Actually fueling Cotsgrave, we can make one slight amendment to our to our track. No. Yeah, I mean it looks messy as anything, but I mean it will work. Sure, let's do it. Let's keep it keep it in there for now. Uh, this this entire area needs to be completely redrawn anyway. Um, but that's that's not that's not that's not a priority for right now. Okay, so that should be. That should be fine. Uh, you can be equipped to actually fueling Cotsgrave. Brilliant. And that's that, I think. Right? Oh, also, one last thing. We need to modify the fueling Cotsgrave line, because Cotsgrave is no longer going to be a station on that line. Which means... Which means, which means, which means... We need to make sure that we're not dragging a huge a huge messy stinking 20 million miles long oil train through the town center right uh how do i link this up uh, this needs to be redone to be honest there we go ditch that and then yeah, I think I can just reconnect this bit over here. Probably didn't need to keep the keep the electrification above, but that's fine. Uh, so how does that how does that look? Does that uh, automatically reroute Cotsgrave? Yeah, it actually does. Although it still maybe technically is faster to go through the town. The speed limit is much lower in the town center, and also we don't obviously want the large trains going in that direction anyway, so that's completely fine to, to go the other way. Uh, train 5, the actually fueling Cotsgrave, I want to make one slight amendment to that. Cotsgrave East, let's put you on, wait for a full load, because there's no reason for you to, to faff around elsewhere. 
And then let's go and have a little look at our monster, monster, monster jumbo train. Are you waiting for a full load over here? You're currently set up to wait for a full load. Um, I'm going to say load if available, to be honest. I don't think you need to take a full load. Look at the speed of this thing. Look at the speed of this thing. So hopefully by reducing the number of trains on the network and by, you know, increasing the length, it should mean, and also actually increasing the speed of, you know, we're, we're transporting, we're transporting more resources at a better, at a better speed, which is, which is exactly what we want, right? Uh, it should mean that the express train is, I mean, just absolutely flying from Cleobury Mortimer to, uh, to Burnley. That's the plan anyway. I don't know if that's going to work, but, uh, but we should, we should see. Uh, the other thing that I need to change is that it's no longer good enough. It's no longer good enough. It's no longer good enough for our for our main line to be interrupted by ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculously small services, the Fairford Express, which, by the way, is is doing a fantastic job and has made me a ridiculous amount of money over the last however many years. It's been a complete. It's. I think it's actually been. Every single year, yeah, every single year, every single year, it's made money. It has never failed me. Never, ever failed me. And I tell you what, it's great. It's wonderful. Yeah, we can certainly change that around a little bit. You know, sort of make a, make a bit more of a direct route. But, you know, for the most part, it's just nice to have the express service clearly running faster now uh is this is this vehicle is this vehicle going to be able to dock successfully with the with the station I'll tell you what traveling at 71 kilometers per hour man that's such a large improvement that's so good we need to do the exact same with our that looks that looks fine even though i can't extend the the station by uh, by an extra bit train four is having a problem is the problem that it can't get back onto the other line. Yeah, the, the actual problem is that it cannot get onto the other line because it's been merged too soon. It's because it's such a darn long beast. Right, there we go. Okay, so that should absolutely fix the problem. There we go. No issues there whatsoever. Fantastic. Absolutely grand. Of course, we're not taking anywhere near the uh, the maximum capacity of uh, refined oil to to the next stop, but that's fine. You're taking 24, 24 fuel. That's fine. Into Cotsgrave. Wonderful. Cotsgrave doing remarkably well as well. Perfect. You know what? Maybe we're just going to be able to get away with one single big long train here. I doubt it. I think we're going to need to get a second one at some point. But maybe we don't have to do it right now. I do like this, though. I like long trains. Long trains are very, very cool indeed. Very, very cool indeed. Okay. Let me repay my 21 million loan that I took out in order to in order to buy this beast. And a beast it truly is. Yep. That's all fine. And you can pretty much just get out of there. Lickety split. Yep, that all looks good to me. No issues with that whatsoever. 42 kilometers per hour, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. In fact, that's that's really actually rather respectable. I tell you what, I was originally thinking, maybe I need to make a, you know, sort of a high-speed service from, uh, from Burnley to Mortimer, like a proper high-speed route. But I'm now thinking that I, I actually don't need to do that. Yeah, I, I don't. I actually don't think I need to do that at all. Russian SU class, uh, an A A E four seven. The condition of Bodie McBoatface is very poor. No, it's it ain't so. Bodie McBoatface, I'm gonna keep you going for the whole darn game if I have to. I absolutely will. Okay, so you have a capacity of two hundred and sixty, two hundred and seventy, basically. And we are, in effect, taking the entirety of the oil wells production in a year. 
we are going to need to get a second train, aren't we? Yeah, I think two trains, two trains should be more than enough. I think. Yeah. Also, you know what else? You know what else I was going to do? As the uh, as the auto save just uh, just diddles around in the background. What I need to do is actually increase the amount of wood that is being transported on the Woodley and the uh, Planky, better than Planky supply line. Because at the moment, look, see our trains just aren't, they're just not running at full capacity, unfortunately. How's Burnley doing in terms of growth? Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all. This train is full? Brilliant. 276, 276, and we basically have another 276 ready to flip and go. Can you believe it? I cannot. Right, uh, manage vehicle, clone the vehicle, which we obviously don't have enough money for. Let me borrow the money to get that done. I mean, look, that is just, that is just a straight money spinner if, if we can get this second train. So why the heck not, right? There we go. Fantastic. I think it should spawn at this depot down here. I say I think it should. I don't know where it spawned. Where the heck are you? All the way over here. Really? Well, I wouldn't have chosen to start at this depot, but... Sure, I guess. You will kind of technically interrupt the, 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 the cross map express for just a second, but that's fine. You'll be able to motor down to... Uh, to the pickup point in no time at all. That's totally fine. Okay, good. Yes, as I say, I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to worry about uh, an express route at all. In fact, the express route is doing so well for us at the moment that it might be worth us thinking about getting some slightly longer trains. Yeah, maybe doubling the length of these, doubling the length of these flying Scotsman trains. That would certainly be a pretty good idea. There we go. Repay large amounts of money. Whilst I have the cash. Whilst it's there. Because we've got, yeah, we've got more than enough passengers to fulfill the uh, the services in uh, in Cleobury Mortimer. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't bad, at, that ain't bad at all. And we only take 57. We only take 57 a pop, so. It's either more trains or longer trains. And I sort of, I think I'm coming to the conclusion that I prefer longer trains. Anyway, uh, we'll deal with that in a little bit. What I want to do right now is I want to try and extract more and more wood from, from the forests around here. I mean, we've still got, like, more forests to use up. We, we, we've got lots and lots of forests. Uh, so let's let's try and do something which I, I didn't really didn't really think that I was going to do much more of. Uh, but we'll do... We'll do a little truck depot over here. A little, little truck depot over here. Brilliant. We'll do a little truck depot over here. Do a little truck depot over here. Yep. And we'll do a little truck depot over here. Right, so let's create two routes. One route to one route to do Woodley Supply E, which is of course further confusing. Further confusing the already very confusing network of names. Woodley Supply E. Yep. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, we're gonna get a, 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 a bit of road straight across there. Why don't I do that right now? Indeed I shall. Let's literally just get a street that goes from there to there. Perfect. Okay, so that is literally going to drop the, the length of that route in half. And what we want to do, basically, is buy as many vehicles as we possibly can. I say as many vehicles as we possibly can. What's the best truck here? It's... It's this thing. This thing goes at 40 kilometers per hour, I think. Soviet truck? Yeah. Benz side truck with stake? I think that's it, actually. Yeah, I think it's the, the Benz... The Benz side track. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay, let's get 20 of these. 
Brilliant. And then stick them onto Woodley Supply. Fantastic. Okay. So that is going to hopefully increase the amount of uh, the amount of logs that we're moving down to the down to the sawmill. And then we are going to get a similar sort of route. It's actually pretty affordable. That's actually even more affordable. Let's do this. Sure, we'll make it a steel suspension bridge. Not a suspension bridge, just a steel bridge. Not a suspension bridge. Suspension bridges are, are for later. Okay. Brilliant. And then we will similarly get another route. And this one is going to be a really confusing name. This is going to be called Supplying Better Than Planky Supply. -y. I don't even I don't even know if I've spelt that right. I don't think I have actually. Supplying better than Planky. So you can't even see. You can't even see the second bit of the name. Doesn't particularly matter for for our purposes. Right. Let's similarly get Ben's truck with side stakes. Bash 20 of them right in there. That's a ridiculously loud pinging noise. Supplying better than... I've spelt it wrong. But you know what? It's, it's a character building exercise. Right, so the point is, is that we should be able to move uh, a heck of a lot more wood via trucks now. I mean, each and every one of these trucks has got a... Has got double the capacity of the original trucks. These trucks are all able to get up to 40 kilometers per hour. Wonderful. They do cost me a pretty penny, but uh, but that'll be fine. Woodley supply, yep. I'm gonna stay full load on any cargo, just like I need to say on this one. Nope. Salcom South. There we go. Brilliant. Don't know why I made them all go to Salcom South first. It's a bit irrelevant, but that's fine. Anyway, we should be able to we should be able to really 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 increase our wood production here. I'm pretty hopeful actually. Right, repay the remainder of my horrific loans and let me just have a little check on the oil situation. 326 oil, really? I was about to say it's about time that we have another we have another train coming back. Where's the other oil train? It's just chilling out here. And about to head back. 108 oil. Yeah, so as you can see, I think we're moving the resources around the map in just a, a much better, much better fashion, to be honest. Much, much better fashion. I think it's better for everyone. Better for Cotsgrave especially. And in fact, I think we've actually removed a little bit of the, uh, the emissions. At least, I hope so. I hope that's the case. i tell you what we could do. If we bump the maintenance levels... If we bump the maintenance levels on this, maintenance very high, yeah, bump the maintenance levels. That should hopefully put it back into, oh no, it should put it back into slightly better condition. Yeah, I don't like how we're using a little bit of the main line for this super, super slow train, but ugh, it's fine. It's fine for now. It's totally fine for now. It will absolutely do. Okay, now the real test is to see, will this Woodley supply routes, will that will that make a difference for us? Will that make a difference or will that just be a completely bum deal? I, I have absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. I tell you what, I have also had, I've also had like extensive thoughts. Extensive thoughts about, well, a couple of things. But most importantly, uh, transporting... Oops, I'm in the wrong, the wrong zone. Uh... Transporting all of the goods via air. I mean, it's I, I know it's I know it's pretty inefficient. I mean in fact it is it is worse than inefficient. It is it is horrifically inefficient. It is profitable though. It is it is profitable. But it's inefficient. A type T1. I think that's a... that must be a tram, right? It might be a might be an electric truck, but who knows. Uh yeah. <sighs> I could just transport them by train. I mean, I am I am literally running a goods train. Uh, here it comes now, in fact. Yeah, I'm literally running goodly. Already. 
why not just stick it on a bit of track and stick it into the center of uh, the center of Burnley? Well, I must say it's an appealing thought. I think things will get better, right? Once I get a once I get access to a bigger airport. Once I get access to a bigger airport, I think we're going to be absolutely swimming. I don't want to deal with Gravesend too much over the course of this episode because, uh, I mean, you know, Gravesend has been getting a, a fairly large amount of attention of late. Although, suffice to say that in upcoming episodes, I absolutely want to increase the amount of food that we're that we're transporting over. At the moment, we're transporting basically all of the food that we're that we're moving to Gravesend Annex. So that means that we're transporting, yeah, fully from Gravesend Farm 1, Gravesend Farm 2, and Bishop Stortford's farm as well. So I think I think uh, we're going to have to look further afield for some more farms in order to satisfy Gravesend's hungry demand. Uh, but Stoned, right? Stoned at the moment has got four trains. And I'm going to make it a fifth, actually. I'm going to make it a fifth. There we go. Get another one right there. Because I think that we can support it. I think that we can support it. At the moment, yeah, we're not... Uh, we're not using all of our all of our all of our stone that's being produced over there. So I think we can support just an extra single train on that route, and uh, that's a little bit of sort of administration done. Also, I didn't create a route. I didn't create a route in the last episode. I didn't create a route that went from uh, from Medler with Wesham to Horsham to Shifnal. So why don't we do that right now? Right. So I need to use. This station here, I need to use, very specifically, Terminal 4. Yep. Then we can go up to Horsham over here, using that station. Brilliant. Then over there, come all the way back. On the way back, you go Horsham, but you do the other platform in Horsham, so we don't change sides. You come all the way back here. Brilliant. And into there. Yeah, okay. What did I... Okay, that's the North Shifnal Express. This is going to be called the uh, East. Yeah, East. East Shifnal Express. As you can see, my sort of my sort of design plan is that we have at each end of the map, right? We At each end of the map, we have a monstrous town. Gravesend, for one, is, is my biggest success. F far, and, far and away, the best... The best, the best sized town a YouTuber could possibly ask for. I'm unbelievably happy with how it's looking, to be honest. It's looking really, really good. We just need more food. We just need more construction material. I've, I've remedied the construction material already. The food we're going to be remedying in the next episode anyway. Uh, Burnley, Burnley, as you know, we're, we're shipping in goods, etc, etc, etc. Shifnal, however. Shifnal is going to be a, 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 a railway town because we've got a massive, massive exchange right over here. It's our first sort of high-speed exchange. It's our first eight-track uh, eight track route. And in fact, we're using absolutely every single, every single track, I think. Every single track bar one in here. Because this, these two tracks form the throughput for, uh, for the stoned route. But anyway, the point, the point is, is that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm pretty happy with Shifnal being sort of a, a high-speed hub exchange town. Similarly, right, either Cleobury Mortimer or more likely Cotsgrave. Cotsgrave will eventually have to be, whoops, eventually have to be sort of uh, remodeled and redeveloped to uh, to incorporate a larger number of high-speed tracks. And probably we'll just extend the station out here into this residential neighborhood. We'll just demolish the whole place. Because uh, at the moment, at the moment, it's uh, it's got good connections, but it doesn't have... It doesn't have any high-speed connections, other than, of course, the uh, the technical high-speed. It's not technically high-speed, but you know, you know what I, you know what I mean. The Cross Map Express, which I do love, by the way, I do love, and it's consistently full, and it consistently makes money as well, which is wonderful. For such a long map, uh, for such a long route, it's it's just it's surprising. It's very very surprising. Anyway, uh, enough chat, enough chat, enough chat, enough chat. Let me. Just make sure that everything's going fine over here. 100. 132. Fine. You were waiting for a free path? Hmm. Weird. Uh, what was I going to do? Yes, I was going to set up a train to work on the... 
to work on the East Schiffnell Express. Uh, the East Schiffnell Express line. Yeah, so what have we got on here? We've got one of these guys. Okay. How much is it going to cost? Yeah, not enough. Not enough money, as it turns out. But I think we just want what we've got on the North Schiffnell Express. That's, that was stupid. What we want on the North Schiffnell Express. How much money does this cost? I can't have been far off last time. Right. Manage vehicles. Brilliant. And train 34. I need train 8. Train 8 needs to be equipped onto East Schiffnell Express. Fantastic. Okay. Where did it come from? Where'd it go? I have absolutely no idea. Would it not spawn at that depot? I... Oh, you... All the way down here? Really? Alright, well that's a, that's a bit of an inconvenience, really. The passengers over in Medlam and Horsham are gonna... Are gonna be wondering where their train is. And I'm gonna say, well, it spawned half the world away. How ridiculous is that? Very ridiculous, they will say. And I will say, yes, yes it is indeed ridiculous. Not my fault, though, Governor. Absolutely not my fault. Okay. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Stoned. How's Stone doing? Is it able to support the extra train? I think so. I think so. I'm pretty happy with that. How's... How are the Woodleys doing? Yes, I, I must concentrate on Burnley. I've been... I've been neglecting Burnley of late. I mean, that's better than Planky Supply, and I don't see a full train. And this one looks like it's from Woodley. And I also don't see a full train. What is going on here? Why are we not able to... Why are we not able to get more logs? Is it because we've got so many stored? Do I need a... Do I need a brand new... Do I need a brand new train on Bed and Planky Supply? Let me try and clone this train. Is that... Oh my goodness, that's a really, really old train. Let's get this train upgraded. Let's get this train upgraded. Let me, um... Let me borrow a heck of a lot of money. In order to do it. And then, let me see if I can get this train properly upgraded. Right, edit the selected vehicle. Ditch that. Ditch all of this. I hope it doesn't despawn all of my planks, but ugh, if it does, if it does, it does. Anyway, uh, locomotives, let's get a really, really decent locomotive as well. The China, China JF1, yeah, I like that a lot. like that a heck of a lot. What is this? 160, 160 kilometers. 160 meters long, not 160 kilometers. That would be quite a train station, let me tell you. Quite a train station. Flat car with sides. Uh, we want the longer lifespan one. Yep. 160. 155 meters. That's pretty close to what we're after. Replace for 11 million. Absolutely. Let's do it. And it turns out that we've even got a few, a few spaces more. There we go. Brilliant. Load up and get out of here. Now this, this China JF1 thing, this is a, this is a monster. It's a monster, I tell you. An absolute monster. Right, let's borrow a whole bunch more money. Maybe wisely. Maybe foolishly. Who knows? Well, most likely foolishly, right? And we'll get ourselves a brand new train. Problems with train 8. You are... This is... Oh my god. This is this is the this is the problem. I told you. I told you this was going to be a problem. I, I knew this was going to be a problem. There's no electric path because there is no way to get onto the to the bit of track that you're after. Um... Oh, goodness gracious me. Okay, look. Come up this way. Do 
There you go. That should resolve it, right? You should be able to get to Horsham now, I believe. East Shift Null Express. You're not even using the right... Yeah, you're not even using the right station. I mean, the whole point of having uh, different stations for each and every different thing was that we would never have to... We would never have to have any crossover on the trains. Whereas now, you've just gone and messed it up, haven't you? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll let the train get onto this little bit of track right over here, and then we will just ditch this bit of track. And what do you know? There are no issues. There are no issues whatsoever. Everything looks completely fine. Okay, let me see how it's going over here. East Shifnal Express, that looks good. 27 people going to, uh, to Shifnal. That's, that's cool. How many people are waiting in Medlar? 46. 46 people waiting in Medlar. That's grand. Now, I, I do think, I do think that we could expand the Medlar route further. Because if we have a little look at the North Shifnal Express, which is actually the North... It's actually the Northwest Shifnal Express, but that doesn't particularly matter. Uh, that goes to Horsham, Stamford, and Stallbridge. And to be honest, it needs... It needs more carriages. It needs more carriages. Let me see if I can edit it. It's already 152 meters long. Blimey neck! That is, that is something. Yeah, there's no way that we can... There's no other way that we can increase the six axle passenger car. Yeah, no, there's there's no way. There's no way that we can speed this up anymore, I don't think. That's fine. That's fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're already at we're already at max length. So, I'm going to need to get more more trains on this route if I want to if I want to supply more more passengers. Look at this. 776, 276 going to, 776, 276 going to Horsham. That's a bit bonkers, actually. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to make money, but I'm convinced, I'm convinced in time that route will absolutely make money. Yeah, okay, that's looking good. Why is there a delay over here? It's the Goodly train, because of course it is. Yeah, I don't like how... The main line has been uh, has been taken over by pretenders, people who don't actually need to use the main line. They just sort of tangentially use it. Looks like looks like stoned is a little bit uh, a little bit oversupplied with trains, a little bit undersupplied with stones, but that's okay. That's fine. Let's get Shifney looking good. Right. Let's go back. Let's go back to Burnley. Let's go back to Burnley. I want to fix. I want to fix more stuff in Burnley. I don't want to. I don't want to deal too much with Gravesend today, as I've said already. So I'll come to Talton Branch. How is that not making more money? I honestly feel like it should be making a heck of a lot more money than it actually is. Right. Train twelve is very poor. Fine. We're still not transporting anywhere near enough logs to make uh, to make any to make any massive change to the amount of wood that is being transported. Yeah, I, I thought that we would. <laughs> I thought that we would be. I thought that we... We would be, especially with, you know, two trains. Better than Planky Supply. I do feel like we should be... We should be using more. Should be making more. Let me see if I can update this train. Doesn't even really need to be updated, to be honest. Tell you what I will do though. I will change the line. So just go whenever you're free. Yeah, just go pick up stuff and then head away. That's totally fine. And I think that that should mean that we'll get into upgrading shipment levels. Yeah, I think I think that'll do it for us. I think that should uh, that should get us over the line. And if we're able to increase, if we're able to increase the amount, if we're able to increase the amount of, of tools that we're actually shipping, then that should help us consume more planks, which should help us consume more logs, which means that every, every forest over here is sort of going to open up, open up to us and, uh, and allow us to get just a, just a little bit more wood. So we should see this number tick, hopefully into the upgrade zone. 
Yeah, let me have a look. Just wait for it. If I refresh it, will it work? And hopefully. Hmm. Not looking, not looking ideal, to be honest. Not looking ideal at all. We do have a heck of a lot of stored, we do have a heck of a lot of stored wood, and we're just not using anywhere near enough of it. But we're also at level, we're also at level one. Yeah, you've produced, and yet we've not shipped anywhere, anywhere near the max. And I'm pretty sure the reason is because we've just had it on, we've just had it on wait until a full load comes along. But I think with this amendment, we should be totally fine. Kingston upon Thames. That's what the, the station. The station is still called Kingston upon Thames, but uh, but the town is called Kingston upon Beach. How glorious! How glorious! Also, I feel like I should upgrade this vehicle. Yeah, let's upgrade this vehicle. Let's make it. Let's make it uh, somewhat more respectable. Let's stick in a steam locomotive. Slow it down to one times speed. And let's get let's get one of these uh, China Railways JF what you call it because they are really really good. Okay, cargo. We're looking for tools. Tools are transported in a box car, I believe. Right. There we go. Brilliant. How long is the station over here? It's 160 meters long. Brilliant. Now, we absolutely do not need the train to be that long, but we will. We will. I'm confident, I'm absolutely confident that uh, that at some point, very, very shortly, we're going to start, uh, we're going to start seeing an explosive growth explosion. That's right, I said it. In the Kingston-upon-Thames tool factory. Well, it's actually the Kingston-upon-Beach tool factory, but you know, you know how, how, how businesses are. Slow to, uh, slow to adapt. Slow to adapt to, uh, to naming conventions, to new naming conventions. Doesn't particularly matter though. I'm I'm not I'm not too grumpy about it. Yeah, things are looking things are looking good over here, to be honest. Our first flight route is horrifically unprofitable. But uh, but even goodlier is is actually working. Actually legitimately working. Can you believe it? I for one cannot. Come on, my dudes. We want to get there. We want to get there. And we're close. We're close. We're oh so close. We're oh so close to making this work. There we go. Get my debt paid off. I feel like that's the sound effect. That's the sound effect of this series. Ching, 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 ching. Not in a remarkably positive way either. Yeah. Having two trains on the better than Planky supply route at the time seemed like a good idea. Because I thought, you know, we can easily, we can easily support... We can easily support an extra train if we're transporting more logs, but the fact of the matter is, is that we're simply just not transporting more logs. See, we're only shipping 107 of these logs. Cumulatively, we're only going to be shipping enough. Yeah, we're only shipping 100. We're only shipping 100 here. Uh, because we've not upgraded this yet. Ah, see, look at this. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just wait until the train gets in. That's going to that's gonna be 30 more. We're definitely going to get up to 100 very, very soon. I don't know... I don't know how... What the time frame is. I presume it's over the course of a year. I presume so. Yep, it's growing. It's growing. That's, that's real good. That's real good. Really happy with that. Very, 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 very happy indeed. Uh, and that... That grow... When that grows... That's going to allow us to consume more planks. And then this is going to allow us to consume more wood. And then that's going to allow us to ship more wood. It's a complex process, but as long as I think we keep this up, we'll we'll actually get... We'll get ourselves across the line. Brilliant. Yeah, 66 out of 100. How is that so slow? I mean, literally, literally we cover the entire town. Apart from a tiny, tiny bit.
Yeah. Yeah, we cover most of we cover most of it to be honest. I mean, we could transport we could transport via via truck if that was going to make any difference, but I'm just not convinced that it actually would. Yeah, supply rating 100%. Is it just that... Is it just a little bit too far? 71%, 71%. Do we just need to extend our cargo network just a little bit more? Is that what we need to do in order to get us across the line? Supply rating 100%. think so. Oh, look at this. Eh, eh, well, it's not that great. That looks pretty good. That looks like a cargo wagon. A uh, cargo, a cargo engine. Something that we might want to invest in, in fact. Right, I'm just, I'm, I'm going crazy just staring at that little, uh, staring at that little screen right over there. Uh, I mean, is there any other optimizations that we can make to the track around here? Uh, to be honest, there's nothing stopping us from building, like, a massive... A massive bridge. Nothing stopping us from building the massive bridge. On a sort of approach to... On an approach... On an approach to Kingston upon beach. We could get it to curve around this way, as opposed to curving around another way, but uh, I don't think I don't think I'm really that bothered about it, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, a bridge, a bridge, I think, is is off the, off the cards. I, I think we just need to wait until we just need to wait until there there's uh, there's an upgrade. Also, you know what I could do? I totally could do this. I uh, I didn't countenance doing it before, but we could get actually brand new brand new truck, which cannot take tools. Irritatingly, can take everything except for tools. Buy ten of these things. Set them up on a brand new route. Uh. Oh, what is what is this purple route that we've already got here? This is Thule. Yeah, um let me manage the line. Kingston upon Thames East. Yeah, ditch everything in fact. And literally just do just do that. Yeah, brilliant. And then um Yeah, just equip all of those all of those guys to uh to Thule. Fantastic. Okay, so if there's if there's anything which can't be delivered by train, it will be delivered by road. Right? And that will further increase our shipment levels? Okay, apparently that totally does. So it's not even it's not even like active shipping. It's Oh, look at this. Look at this. We're getting an upgrade. Perfect. I don't know if this is just happening now or if it's just happening because we're able to sell to more businesses. But this is, this is big. This is absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. And it's going to have a huge effect on the sawmill. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. I guess we're able to sustain... Well, we're able to sustain a slightly larger drop-off area with the truck point. I know that, but... Uh, this must be based on, like, predictive shipment rather than... What I'm actually shipping over the course of the last whole financial year. Which is a bit weird, but okay. Fine, I'll take it. If that's what it gives me, then that's grand. Um, yeah, Thule reincarnated like Buddha ain't doing so good. Ain't doing so good. But it will. It will be doing better. It will be doing much better. 62 out of 86 tools. Fine. All of the trucks are about to arrive. Wonderful, we're about to hit our upgrade threshold, which means that we are going to demand way more planks. Way more planks. Oh, which is oh so great. 
Oh, so great. I tell you what I'm also going to do. I'm also going to make a bespoke road right down there. So we don't have to cross over this unbelievably ridiculous to cross junction. Look at that. Look at that. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's as simple as that. It does mean a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra emission levels uh, are going to be, are going to be coming to Kingston upon Beach. But if that's the price to pay, then that's the price to pay. Anyway, you see, we should now be, we should now be producing a heck of a lot more, heck of a lot more junk, which means, I mean, product, which means that we should be able to. Yep, we're we're hitting the upgrade level over here as well. Beautiful. And as soon as we hit this upgrade level, right? As soon as we hit this upgrade level. In fact, maybe already, you'll start to see an explosion, an explosion of of planks being produced, uh, of of, uh, of wood, wood, future planks. I suppose, I suppose wood is actually already made up of planks, but you get the picture. Anyway, that's going to happen, and we're literally going to see it's going to pop off all at once. Mark my words, it's going to be a momentous occasion. Right, let me get all this cash repaid. Bish bash bosh bish bash bish bosh bosh. Boom. It's kind of happening, I guess. Kind of happened. It should happen any any moment now. Any moment, any moment now. 92% transport, 100% transport. We are... Everything that we've got over here is being moved, which is good. Not everything over there. Transport, we need to get up to slightly higher level. It will. We will get there. I'm I'm remarkably confident. I've, I know I've spent like half the flipping episode saying, oh, I'm super confident about this or... Super confident about that. But I actually am. Right, you've still got room to grow as well. I think we're going to need to get more... We're going to need to get more vehicles, actually. Give me a road depot. Stick a road depot. Right over there. Why right over there? I don't know. Just kind of felt like it. Just kind of felt like it. And let's get the trucks that we've got on Thule. Let's double them. Where's Thule? Comes after S usually in the alphabet. T, that is. Right, double them all. Russian class FD, 85 kilometers per hour. I mean, it's not a, not a super high speed train, but it does look pretty darn good. Look at this, look at this. Look at the amount of planks that we've got. 174. In fact, we've got so many planks that we're... We're overflowing with planks. This is exactly why I said we can support a second, a second train. Look at this, look at this. The amount of logs that we're taking on better than planky supply, heck of a lot. The amount of logs that we're taking on Woodley, that's a full train right there. That is a full train right there. Repeat, that's a full train right there. This is good. This is, this is really, really good. Absolutely delightful. Absolutely flippin' delightful. I'm I'm so happy that it paid off. I'm so happy that uh, that that worked. I still don't exactly understand how shipment works, but um, I guess we are. We must be now delivering to absolutely every commercial property, like 100. percent Almost really. Commercial supply. Yep. Very very high. Very, very high absolutely everywhere. In fact, it's so high that we're probably going to have to look elsewhere for uh, for another city to supply to. Salcom. I mean, we could uh, we could set up a route to, to deliver to Salcom and try and try and grow this to, to brand new heights. And in fact, that might even be might even be what I do. Let me go to Tuli. That's right. That's right. Double the amount of vehicles yet again. See if that makes any difference to our shipment numbers. I don't even know where the vehicles are going to be coming from. I kind of hope that they're going to be coming from the local depot. But 
it doesn't seem that way. No, I have absolutely no idea where the vehicles are coming from. Is it over here? Yeah, it's over here. <laughs> okay, half of them. Okay, <laughs> right. Not entirely sure why they're coming from the other half of the map, but it doesn't particularly matter as long as they arrive eventually. That's looking good. Has it affected my supply? Not yet. Or my shipment? I think that means that I need to change the sort of consumption figures around a little bit. And I need to I need to send uh, I need to send a train or something to Salcom. Hmm. Yes, indeed, I will do that. But I think that that's perhaps a mission for the uh, for the next episode because that is it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you oh so much for watching this here episode of Transport Fever Two. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. Thanks as ever to my fantastic patrons who help make videos like this possible. I'll see you next time. Bye.